What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services coming to you with another video. It's a little loud today. I'm out here working on uh, this particular unit, and I just figured I'd share this information with you. Um, so, what I found was I did the repair on this unit, and let me step back a little bit so away from the noise. All right. So I did the repair on this unit. It was leaking at the straighter by our family. Uh, straighter broke apart while I was taking it out. You know, so anyway, it was they had to abandon, abandon that port and really not abandon it, but put a uh, put a swivel um, on it with a depressor. But nonetheless, that's not why I'm doing the video. Video is doing um, after the repair, you know, and, and charging it with nitrogen and checking it. Went back to pull a vacuum and. What I found when I pulled a vacuum on the unit, I mean, I use my big hoses and everything. Well, not my true blue hoses, but my um, the JB big hoses that I use. And what I found when I was pulling the vacuum is that the JB micron gauge that I have was, uh, it was pulling it down faster than it should have. It was reading that it was pulling it down faster than it should have. And I was like, whoa, this thing is, this thing is moving ridiculously fast. There's no way on this side circuit that it should be moving this fast. So uh, I had a, another a guy working with me and he had a different uh, micron gauge. Okay, so this is the one I was using, family. The DV40S. All right, that's the one I was using. And it's really neat because it's wireless. You know, you can hook it up wireless and you can use the app to read the microns you don't even have to be right up on the unit you know so I like that part about it and I was like man and, and I've used it once before and it seemed to be fine but what I found was like I said it was not it was pulling way too fast at an unbelievable rate so I, my colleague brought up the field piece 6907 five model, full range, super evac LCD vacuum gate. And that is the, the airport that connects to the port right there. So, all right, to the service port. So, what I found when I hooked that one up, I got realistic readings because when I hooked the other one up, it pulled down to like, 700 microns in like 15 minutes and if you look at the size of this this unit there's no way pulling a circuit down that size that I'm gonna get down that fast it's just it's just not possible so I knew something was wrong he brought his and hooked it up and it was spot on family my microns went up to i can't remember but i know it was like around 18,000 microns or something and it started to pull down but it pulled down at a much slower rate so by the time i left that day it was down to about 1500 microns so i let it pull down on the weekend and now it's down to 300 microns so I gotta say, the, the field piece, I mean not the field piece, I, I've been saying field piece family, I'm sorry. It's not the field piece, it's the yellow jacket. But this yellow jacket, my front gate, um, it's just the truth. I mean, I like, I, it, it's, it's, I can't argue with the numbers. And the numbers tell the story. So, sorry, um, JB, but I gotta switch over to yellow jacket. I need equipment that, that reads accurately. One more thing, family, that I did want to mention. So, I'm not knocking JB. Like I said, I like JB. You know, but um, my colleague also had been having problems with, he had the JB, another one. Uh, and he had been finding the same thing. He had been having problems and it wasn't accurate. So, he went out and got the yellow jacket. And he loved it and found that it was much more accurate. So maybe it was just the the um, the ones that we had that's not really accurate. But 
Um, it is what it is. All right, family. Thank you. Check out the video. Talk to you soon. Bless day.